Action. Radio. Just going to talk through a couple of suggestions for setting up dual AHX arms on an AWM post. First of all, we can use the P51 post is a suitable length. We recommend this rather than the 750 or the 400. A couple of things to note. Um, the first is that the spacing of the channel clamps relates to the height of the monitor. So when determining this gap, measure the height of the display and whatever length that is should be the same distance between the channel clamps. So I tend to use the lower edge to the lower edge and if that distance there from the lower edge to the lower edge is the same as the height of the displays that will give you a very good starting point for the installation. Next consideration is to mount the lower channel clamp relatively low and what we've got here is about two inches between the top of the desk and the lower edge of the channel clamp. Now a couple of characteristics of the arms to be aware of. With the, any of the dynamic arms, as they move up and down, the link moves through an arc. And so that means that the outer end moves horizontally from its highest position to the middle and then back down again. So that's why we want the spacing of the channel clamps to be the same. So we've got those two the same. The installation we're doing here is with a pair of 34 inch monitors. Because of the very wide ratio, a 49 is not much taller, so this is pretty representative. So uh, we've already got the tilt heads on the back here. With curved monitors, they want to be relatively firm because of the curve. And then we plonk that onto the arm. And then we swing that around. And another important consideration is that the channel clamps are in the front channel, so that avoids clashes when everything's installed and pushed back into place. So we can move that arm down and back. And as you can see, that's sitting relatively low. Um, we've got about four inches from the desk there. We can go a little lower, but there's a certain point where the cable clips will clash with the arm. So if that's the case, you can remove a cable clip to get even more travel in the arm. So that's our lower arm positioned. We'll drop the upper arm on. Drop the monitor onto that. loosen that off before I so the tilt head on the arm and just highlighting what I spoke about a moment ago with the possibility of the arms clashing with one another uh, if we just swap sides so the camera comes around here depending on how at what position this arm is so it can, they can come up and down at its very lowest position, the cable clip will contact the lower arm. And if that's the case, if you want that clearance, you can remove the clip and that lets you go lower with the arm in any installation. Uh, the clips can also be reversed so that you can bring the open side forward for better access to the cable. So they just clip on and off without any tools. So moving this arm back and into position, tend to want everything parallel and we move the upper arm down as well and drops neatly everything 
lining up. Uh, something to note with curved monitors is they're very sensitive to the relative tilt on the two monitors when stacked. So we recommend having them at the same tilt as one another because if they're not, it opens up a smile between the two monitors. Uh, so we spoke before about the relative positioning of the channel clamps and the importance of that. So in this installation, we've got those two clamps at the correct spacing. What we'll do in a moment is pause, change that and show what happens as a result. Looking at the array now, we can see this offset between the two displays and that's a result of having the spacing between the two arms incorrect. Now, when the monitors are brought forward, that can be concealed pretty well. Um, and so you might not realize the issue. However, when they're both pushed back, it will be unavoidable. So just in case you encounter this in an installation, when they're pushed back, that offset is unavoidable if the spacing between the channel clamps is not correct. A final consideration in setting it up is to be aware that the center of the monitor will be slightly offset from the position of the post. This is a combination of two things. One is that all dynamic arms move through an arc and so from its highest position to a horizontal position and then back down again, this is moving from here out and then back in again. So there's a movement that needs to be considered. And then also the geometry of this arm is such that the links are slightly different lengths and that when this arm is in a nominal position, it will be offset from the center line. So in this particular installation, we're looking at about probably two to three inch offset between the center line of the monitor and the position of the post. Fairly subtle, but worth being aware of.